What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a feeble hard 360. And this trick, I would say, is not intermediate. It's like higher intermediate to hard trick because this one took me a while to learn and it's quite a weird one. And uh, again, sorry for the change of scenery again. I can't have my bike with me because um, things in the garage are still pretty full so I can't like bring the bike inside and explain anywhere. So yeah, let's get into the video. First step are you want to know these tricks that I'm about to list. You're going to want to know how to 360, how to feeble hard 180, and have good pop at it. I mean like, don't be scraping your tire at all. I mean like, pop above to where like you have a second and then you land. Like, you have good pop to the point where you aren't barely making the rotation, you're like over rotating a little bit. And then from there, yeah, that's about all you're really going to want to know how to do. And then from there, the first step would be start trying to over rotate your feeble hard 180s a little bit more each try. The more you do this, the easier it will become. But the thing that I found that helped me the most are, it's the type of thing that you try it on. I would suggest definitely don't try this on a rail because feebles on rails are harder, especially if you're trying to do a hard 180 out of it, but or a hard 360. But you can do this on a flat ledge, but that's later on. Either go to a higher flat ledge or go to an up ledge. An up ledge will really help you learn this trick because it'll give you the extra time to get the rotation. So once you can kind of figure out how to get over rotation on that, you need to carve into the ledge more. Usually you want to have your front tire on the very edge of the ledge, right? Except instead, you want to hop in like that, have your front tire perfect, and then as you're about to reach the end of the ledge and carve away, you want to carve away to go more into the ledge, more deep into the ledge, roughly a few inches. And then from there, you need to just turn in and then just fully huck the bike around. Once you can do that, you should be able to start getting a feeling for the rotations and you should be getting kind of the full rotation almost, except maybe putting your foot down here and there. You're going to want to go fast too. Speed is definitely your friend with this trick. It's going to make it a lot more scary, but it will make it easier. And once you get all those steps done, pretty much everything from there is just you committing to the trick. Once you can do all those steps together, go fast and really put some muscle into it, you have the trick. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you guys learn this trick and have yourselves an amazing day.